Hey guys, it's Will from Axineering and today we're gonna to do a blip install on a 2016 Chevy SS. It's super nice, I'll show you some clips of it right now. A local guy here in Orlando was able to lend it over to us for a couple days. Install super sweet. Um, and I'll go ahead and take you over to that right now. Everything that comes in the kit is gonna be the module, your inline pedal harness, and your 20 pin sub harness. This one's set up for the module to be installed inside of the center console. So it's got this stubby, short 12 volt power. Let's go ahead and jump the vehicle and we'll start getting this thing installed. So looking into the footwell, the first thing we're gonna have to do is get rid of this, uh, this cover that's covering all the, the pedals in there wiring and all the cool stuff that we need to get to. So five clips, one, two, three, four, all the way in the back, and then five, right there. This is definitely not the most glorious thing. It's definitely not anybody's angle, um, but you gotta get your head under here so you can get to all the clips. For that one in the back corner over there, I'm using a different tool. It's just at a weird angle. It's kind of hard to get to. There we go. Put that down there. Put that down there. Can you see it it's slotted like this? Folds down. It'll just pop right out. Boom. We put that to the side. Uh, make sure you have all five of your clips. And keep all that in a safe place. So you can see our this is our accelerator pedal, and that is the 10 mil uh, that we got to get to. I would highly suggest some sort of electric ratchet, just so um, life is better. You notice the pedal is going to come up like this, and turn to the right, and it'll drop down. Now it's hanging by the connector only. Um, it should be all right, this thing's not too heavy. Um, but now we have more access, we can get our hands in there um, to take the connector apart. So this is our inline pedal harness, female, male end. Uh, this is the pedal we just took out. How this will work is our female end from the pedal harness goes into the pedal. And then the male end from the harness will go into the vehicle back up. Uh, where we disconnected it from the actual pedal. So I'm going to get this uh, assembly back in there um, and get it all hooked up right and uh, get that 10 mil back in there as well. Actually, now that I have my head under here, I'm gonna take a shot of the vehicle harness, female. That is our female plugged into the actual pedal. The male end right there and plug it into that female end. Take our 10 mil and uh, put it back into the pedal assembly. The module, the 20 pin. Go ahead, get those hooked up. Get that inside. Um, this is your arming switch for enabling and disabling blips. This is where your pedal harness plugs right into. And then these are all our uh, wires for brake and clutch signal. Um, we'll throw this into here. We're gonna wrap all this with some split loom. You can pick up this stuff pretty inexpensive, but it's gonna be really nice for when it's coming out of here. So the split loom I'm talking about, going on right there. And then along the way, put zip ties on there to keep everything intact. And then we're gonna tuck underneath those plastic panels. Now with it tucked away, goes down it's behind all that and then drops out right there so we're going to take the rest of that brown wire and run it to the other side of the, of the vehicle where the bcm is and then we're going to take we'll take that inline harness for the clutch we'll plug that in right now since it's uh so tight down here can't really get my actual camera i'm at the clutch pedal right now 
And if we zoom in a bit, you can see that is the connector we need to get to. The little white arm is what travels with the clutch. Yeah, so we can pop that off and um, put our harness, our inline harness in so we are tapped on the right signal. So this is our inline harness. I had to extend it, so that's why that's there. But it's unplugged from the pedal. And this is the end that plugs into the pedal. You see the connectors right up there. Make sure that's right. Is that right in? There we go. And I'm gonna tuck this wire away from all the, the clip points for that cover that we took off earlier. So um, it'll look really good. You have all the wires in that TechFlex running up under there. And then they come out through here, underneath this whole thing and pop out over there. Inline clutch harness is all tucked away. The pedal harness is all tucked away, plugged in, good to go. Now we're gonna take the brake signal wire that needs to get tapped on the PCM, send it through the back side of the center console and then get it hooked up over there. So the passenger footwell has a cover as well. There's four clips, one, two, three, and four. Using a pry tool or something similar, uh, you can go ahead and pop those out and uh, move that to the side. So you guys are having a hard time getting the single brown wire through the back side of the center console keeping track of it. Um, what I did is I zip tied it to a popsicle stick. So before I get that brown wire through, I took this panel off. And I also took this panel off. And then conveniently, you can see right through there. So that's the other side of the car. So that's pretty nice. Uh, you can also see the wiring we did earlier, but I'm gonna get my popsicle stick through that little hole. There we go. Get all the slack we can out of it. Sweet. So we got plenty of wire to work with. You can tuck it away, um, zip tie it up, whatever you need to do. So we're gonna have to take this cover off and also this cover off. So to take this one off, you simply pull here, right about there, and there. The whole thing comes off, you can lay that to the side. Then we're gonna take off this panel and behind this panel is the BCM where we're gonna make our tap. So to take this off, there's a point right here, point right there, and point right here. Once all those come off, should just slide right out. Put that to the side, and now we can see our BCM connectors back in there. Let me zoom in for you. All right, on this black connector, we're gonna take this fabric tape off. And the best way to do that is just with a pair of side cutters and you wanna cut directly. <laughs> just kidding. You're gonna to wanna to come up into the wire, the group of wire, just kinda of pull away and just snip only the, the tape there. All right, so now we can peel that back and this is gonna give us a bunch of slack so we can actually get up and around um, everything and get the wires that we need. So now that we got that tape off, we can go ahead and separate all the wires. And we're gonna wanna go to the third row to pin 11, which is a violet white. This one. This right here is violet white. That's the wire we're gonna wanna tap into. So that wire specifically is going to the third brake light. We're tapping off that brake signal so we can initiate the blip. We're gonna tap with a posi tap. Use this end to go around the wire. That could be seen. Set it up like that. And then we're going to take this middle section, which has the middle contact in it. Screw that down. Once that bites in, it bites in. Made good contact. And now take our brake wire, which is brown, coming out of the, the blip module. Make sure our wire is nice and twisted up. We'll feed the wire into that last section of the posi tap. Like this. And we have the wire going through. And we'll loop it around inside of the posi tap. Screw it on in. And now our brake signal's tapped. 
so got everything hooked up no DTCs um, some, some of my tools down there and if you look right in here the modules on and this is the arming switch that means blips are ready this means blips are not ready you can see the power light um, so with the arming switch off if I do the clutch and the brake nothing happens right if I turn the arming switch on I do the clutch and brake There we go. There's an arming switch in here. Oh yeah, you can see. You turn that off. Mm -hmm. So, with the brake in and the clutch in, with the arming switch off, nothing happens. Right. Turn the arming switch off. Oh, so you on. just, yeah. So, LS3 six-speed manual, blip module installed. So when the brake is pressed and the clutch is pressed, it's gonna rev match. Um, you can brake on and off as much as you want without it re-blipping. When you're under braking, you'll get a rev with every clutch press. And if you press it twice, will it, will it do it twice? If you do them quickly enough, you have to do it within like a certain period of time. Yeah, there's a third of a second buffer where it prevents it from double blipping. So then, like coming up to a stop, you're on the brake. Mm -hmm. If you stayed on the brake and pushed in the clutch, it'll Would rev. It? Oh, it will. Okay. So when you're coming up to a stop. Usually take your foot off the brake first, and then put it, and then put the clutch in. This has a minor uh, it's got a cam tune. It's pretty, pretty nice. It's definitely smooth. Like being able to take a cam to V8 around this corner in third, and it being super behaved is. Nice. So then rev match going from fifth to fourth. Little break. So now we're braking, when we push in the clutch to downshift, it's going to rev match a little to help it in. We'll do third to second. So is there a little bit of like a uh, an art yeah. to uh, stopping a stop sign? Yeah, so you'll learn how to be on the brake, okay. like coming up to the stop, I'll be on the brake. Before I push in the clutch, I'll make sure I release the brake. So that's about it. It was a pretty quick install overall. So you guys are ever in the Orlando area and have a car that we don't support, bring it by, leave it for a few days, see what we can do. That's kind of what we like to do. It's pretty cool. We always like to have cool results and get you guys something that uh, you can enjoy. So again, thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram. Um, and Facebook so you can see stuff like this and also subscribe to our YouTube and that's pretty much it and we'll see you in the next one